Hey guys, welcome to this week's Riff of the Week video. Um, we're going to go a little bit heavier than we did last week and uh, look at a kind of a rock-based riff, but something that can <clears throat> also be used in blues and will give us a really good look into um, a really important interval to understand on the guitar because this is a shape that is used for a lot of different riffs, a lot of different chord shapes as we move up and down the neck, and it'll be really useful. So we're going to take a look at this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play it for you a few times. We'll do fast and slow, and then I'll give you some close-up views, and then we're going to talk about the intervals that exist within this riff and why this is so helpful for us. This is a riff that is based off of what's typically called a power chord shape. And this is a shape that moves up and down the guitar neck. You can use it in a number of different locations and a number of different styles. Playing on the seventh fret of the A string. We're playing on the ninth fret of the D string. Okay, And that's creating this stair step sort of interval. So we're here. We move up a string and up to um, right. You'll hear this kind of stuff all the time. That is called a perfect fifth, okay? Now the name is not so important. I want you to understand the name, but we'll get more in depth into that name as it compares to the name of other intervals, okay? One of the biggest secrets of learning to play these kinds of things on guitar, <clears throat> and especially if you want to get into faster, more difficult, more complicated, more melodic, whatever type of music you want to do, one of the things that's really helpful, I want the pick to move back and forth, completely level, and when you do that upstroke and then you got to get over that string, you just tilt the pick. See how when I do that, how... The Thank you guys for watching, uh, have some fun with this, and I'll see you next week.